All right, so we're going to talk about Batman and the Outsiders again. And literally, I think this is the only Batman book that's consistently been pretty good. Even though it's new, I'm referring to... So, Brian Hill's writing this, and he also wrote a little run in Detective Comics that I really liked, and now he's writing this. It's basically a continuation of that run. And I really liked his run, and I'm liking this so far as well. I really wish they would let this guy write a Batman, uh, one of the main Batman books. Tom King's coming off of it. I would really like to see this dude write that book. I think he would do a really good job because he writes Batman really good. And it's unfortunate that he probably won't get it. You know who's probably going to get Batman? You guessed it. Brian Michael Bendis. Because they've already given him one. There's a book called like Batman Universe or something. I didn't pick it up. I, I can't stand Brian Michael Bendis. Every book that I've read with him over DC, in my opinion, sucks. Sucks. Really bad. Superman has been ruined by him. They practically gave him the Superman line. Like, here you go, Bendis. You can oversee everything. Not only are you the writer of Superman and Action Comics... You're also the editor. Even though we have an editor over the Superman line, he's going to have to go through you. Because literally they, they changed the entire line. Super Son's gone. You know, he's already making big decisions on Batman family characters as Tim Drake is getting a new alias. He was Robin, again, after he was Red Robin with no explanation because Bendis don't care about continuity. And then, you know... Red Robin's going to be gone now. Not Robin. He's going to be a new hero that's going to stay. I'm sure it's going to be some stupid name. I wish Bendis would just retire. He's ruined DC Comics. I can tell you, like, last year I was reading, like, 10 or 12 different issues monthly of DC Comics. Now I read three. I read Detective Comics, Nightwing, and this. That's it. It's, it's, it's sad how far it's came. And I'm thinking about... I, I haven't read the past two issues of Detective Comics. That's why I didn't review them. I'm going to read them and do videos on them. But I don't know if I'm going to keep reading them. Because I wasn't impressed with that whole, um, what was it, the the Arkham Knight run. I thought it was terrible. Some people liked it. I thought it was horrible. Horrible. So I really wish they would let Brian Hill write Batman. Tom King getting off of there. Why don't you let him go over there? That'd be nice. But we'll see. We'll see. This whole issue is basically just team building. The Outsiders working with Batman. Batman wants to challenge them, so he brings them all to a place where they kind of spar against him. Uh, like I said, I missed the first issue of this book because my comic shop didn't get it. They lost the orders or something. And because of that, I'm kind of a little lost on what's going on with... Um, I think her name's Sophia. Raz Agul is trying to make her like a blade for him. And turn him into like, turn her into his disciple. So, and I'm not entirely sure why, you know, what makes her so great. But he's trying to indoctrinate her. And we left on a cliffhanger saying that he might be, like she might join him. We'll see. Um, once again, really good action. The uh, outsiders take on pretty much Batman. This is the villain from the Detective Comics arc. He dressed up as him to try to test uh, the signal. It's good team building, good teamwork, good action, good story, good art. Everything's good in this book. I enjoy it. Uh, I'm going to keep reading it because I like the author. He's a very nice dude. And it's been a consistently good book so far, judging his work from Detective Comics and this. I've liked it, so I'm going to stick with it. I wish uh, we would get more books like this, but it seems that uh, Dan Didio is... Gonna just keep letting Brian Michael Bendis ride DC Comics into the ground. I don't understand it. It was like as soon as he went over there, he just uh, just destroyed that company. I, I wish uh, I wish it wasn't like I wish it wasn't so. I wish we could have it back into the old days. But man, I don't know how they're gonna pull themselves out of this. At least this year of the villain stuff looks pretty cool, and uh, they showed some. They showed some previews. This Batman and Superman team up that's coming out actually is pretty intriguing. I don't know who's going to write this, but it's like here's the Batman who laughs Batcave. That's pretty cool. I might read that. 
I'm kind of intrigued. So anyway, uh, that's it. Like, subscribe, leave comments. Let me know what you're thinking about this book. And I'll see you.